Good morning, friends. So here's my situation. I've had a hankering for a uh, baked steak. So I have that going in my slow cooker behind me. Then I remembered that Brock had a package of fish in the fridge. So I didn't want that package of fish left in the fridge because it's fresh. He just caught it. I believe it's saw guy. Really? I should have maybe asked. Anyway, it's fish. Fresh fish he caught. You know, fresh fresh fish doesn't keep very long. That's a tongue twister. So I wanted to get that cooked up today. So we're gonna have the fish today for supper, lunch, and then I'll have my baked steak tomorrow. Not a big deal, it's in a slow cooker doing its thing. Okay, so here we're gonna go with the fish. Got a uh, parchment lined baking sheet here now. If I had my beloved nonstick foil, that's what I would use. So we'll have to get online, we'll have to order it. Can't find anywhere here. I don't know what's going on. Here's the important thing with the fish. Any kind of fish you're using, cod, tilapia, bluegill, crappie, whatever you have, whatever fish you have for your region. I like to dry it as much as possible. So I've just got it on some paper, uh, paper towels here. I've got it in with the um, another paper towel underneath and just get this fillet nice and dry as much as possible, okay? So, got that done. We're just gonna take our fillets. I, be I believe these are saw guy, he said. So we're just gonna lay them out. We eat a lot of fish and we'd like to find alternative ways to cook it. You know, sometimes you get tired of fried fish. I don't know, it was just us because Brock loves to fish. His mom loves to fish. So I, you know, I'm happy that we have a lot of these fresh fish, but sometimes um, you wanna lighten it up just have some baked fish. Now the boys love to do this in a foil packet on the grill. My grill is dead. I need to get a new grill. I have my flat top, which they could do that. Guys, so let's just do a oven version here and let's see what happens. So it better be good or I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm not scared. All right, so we're gonna get put all of our fillets on here. spread out that's not good the AC just kicked on so must be gonna be a hot one today all right got all of our fillets laid out here now I'm gonna use this spray because I think I have a better control over it than my liquid um, olive oil. This is just the spray olive oil. So I think it's easier to get a little bit more control with it like this. Now I'm just gonna flip, it, flip these over, hit them again, a little bit of olive oil. This is time consuming so I'm gonna go and I'll come back once I do the flip it and reverse it. I'm not gonna sing Missy Elliott, no way I could do it. Anyway, flip it and reverse it. I'll be back. So I've got my fish flipped, and now we're gonna just do that olive oil spray on the other side. All right, olive oil spray is done. Now we're gonna come in with our seasoning. So of course, SPG, which is salt, pepper, garlic. There we go. A lemon pepper would be great. I don't know if I have any. I forgot to look. Fresh lemon would be great. I don't have any. Fresh lemon. Now listen, you wanna season this fish good. A lot of good fresh fish. Some of it's very mild. It really doesn't have a whole lot of taste. So that's where your taste comes from is your seasoning. Now listen, Tony's Creole seasoning, this is a must. This is always in my house. Always, always, always. I have the smaller version like this size, but I got the big guns out today since we're doing quite a few fillets. Now, why am I doing this now when I'm gonna cook it later? So all those great flavors can really get into that fish. I could have thrown it in a baggie, and if this doesn't fit in the fridge, I may have to. I may have to take this off this pan and throw it in the baggie. Okay, we got our Creole seasoning. 
and then I've got some seafood seasoning and literally that's just what it says at the store it's a seafood seasoning it's just a blend of spices I'm not really sure what okay and I'm gonna flip it and do the other side and I'll be back all right so I flipped it and I added seasoning to the other side we added that Tony's Creole seasoning that is a must at our house Pick you up some if you don't have any. Of course, SPG, salt, pepper, garlic, that seafood seasoning. Now I'm gonna come in with some smoked paprika. I think that smokiness will add great flavor. And you know me, I love me some paprika. Okay. And there we go, that's it. I'm not going to salt it until it's cooked because I don't want that salt extracting that water out of that fish right now. I wanna leave that alone. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover it. Oh, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a hat trick right here. Let's see if I can do it, just cling wrap. You about to see me throw some things. Okay, here we go. Well, looky there. The cling wrap gods have smiled upon me today. All right, let's get the other half covered. We'll throw this in the fridge. I'll come home and bake it. I'm not sure what we're gonna have with it. Um, I have some leftover greens from the other day that we'll probably have and um, a lot of times my likes mac and cheese with fish, so we'll see. I may whip her up some, you know, easy mac and cheese or whatever. All right, so there we go. There's our fresh fish seasoned, ready for that oven when we get home this afternoon. And I'll come back and I'll show you the furnace product. Bye, friends. All right, friends, here we go. Here's this fish that I seasoned up this morning and put in the fridge, and I just got it out of the oven. It was 25 minutes at 375. You just want that fish white and flaky. So I'm just gonna put me some here on a plate. We're having some leftover greens and some corn and some a uh, little bit of mac and cheese. Let's give the fish a try. Mmm. The saw guy is creamy, it's delicious, a little spicy with those spices I put on there. Change it up, have some fish this week, and enjoy it. Thanks, friends. If you're new here, like and subscribe. Hang out with us. Bye.